So I am so happy to be here in 2009 to give a special talk under this Kinrara Metabolic Society. You are very familiar to me. And then it is very easy to give a talk to friends like you because you are very comfortable in front of me, I am also the same. Giving a Dhamma talk is very special in the Buddhist society. What is the meaning behind a Dhamma talk is nothing but sharing our understanding the Dhamma. Dhamma talks we conduct in every Buddhist centers throughout the world. Unlike other religions, what we do, we select a suitable topic and discuss that topic under the teaching of the Buddha. I am so proud to say that Buddhism is a very vast field. We can select any topic to discuss with the teaching of the Buddha. If we want to discuss something about economic, we can collect so many teachings of the Buddha to discuss about that. If we want to discuss something about psychology, there is no any other teaching similar to Buddhism to discuss about psychology. If we want to discuss something about the society, there's a vast field in the teaching of the Buddha to discuss. So on. All kind of topics, whatever we have in the society today, we can discuss with the help of the teaching of the Buddha. That is why today we have already selected a new topic to discuss here. It is Buddhism, crime and punishment. Under this topic, what we are going to discuss, how Buddha looked at the crime and the punishment. When we come to this topic, I can remember, once when I was in India, I went to a college called Siddhartha College for Law. It's a law college. One of the Buddhists in Maharashtra was the principal of that college. We wanted to meet him. And then he gave us a warm welcome and we discussed about the syllabus. I surprised to see under their syllabus there is a paper on Buddhist law. What would the taught about the law? I think in the world this is the only college they teach. Buddhist law in a law college. Even other countries like Sri Lanka, Thailand, we call Buddhist countries. We don't have selected such a paper. And then we went on talking about that paper. Then the principal of that college gave a very nice expression about the rules and regulations announced by the Buddha 
to the bhikkhus and bhikkhunis, for the monks and nuns. It is under the Vinaya Pitaka. We know that there are three baskets, Sutta Pitaka, Vinaya Pitaka, and Abhidhamma Pitaka. So the Vinaya Pitaka is nothing but the rules and regulations announced by the Buddha for the survival of dispensation of the Buddha. So, I selected this topic because of that background we can discuss many things on this topic. So when you go to discuss it, shall we take first the cry, the word cry. So many criminals we can find out. When we go through a newspaper, almost all the message about crime, looting, killing, and so on. So this is the time to discuss, suitable time to discuss about crime. And see what is the solution to stop such kind of crime from the society according to the Buddhist teaching. When we see that, automatically we come to the second topic, punishment. Crime and punishment go together. So when we go to that topic, we can see there are some severe punishments. But still, crime is very high. It means, though there are punishments, there are some other ways and means to escape from punishments in this prevailing society. Again, even punishment is different from country to country. Under the religious background or cultural background. Even the crime, what we estimate as a crime, sometimes it is not a crime for the other countries. Killing is completely a crime for us. But for some other religious backgrounds, killing for the sake of religion is a way to go to the heaven. So kind of definition they have given. So this is the problem we have today. So the word has gone away from the meaning of the word. So we should think about that. Anyway, when we discuss about crime and punishment, we come to the third word, third one, it is the law. So law is the measurement or instrument to use for the final decision. Even with this instrument, people are ready to do some kind of cheating. The law is a very holy word, but many of the human beings, they don't respect it. They go beyond the law. They don't care about the law. And again, in some countries, even the law is different from our countries. For instance, Russia, there's a law. What is that law? In Russia, there will be only one political party. That's the law. If somebody comes to start a new political party, they will arrest that person. That's a law. And again, South Africa, that's another law. Black students cannot go to a white college of white students. That's a law. So when we study 